Hi everyone, I'm going to do a video with an update on how I'm going with her, Kayla It's seen as, oh, however you say her last name, um, Bikini Body Guide. So I think this week was my week 12 and um, I've still been doing it but I this week I couldn't, like I, I'm not kind of doing it as diligently as I was previously because um, I'm kind of happy with where I am and um, and also I've kind of I'm gonna cut back kind of thing because I was starting to get um, sore knees um, because I was doing three um, of the resistance training workouts which is what she recommends and then I was doing three cardio workouts and for me um, I think she recommend that's in the, within the range of what um, she recommends because um, she does have kind of maximum um, numbers of workouts to do a week because I think probably she's doing that because some people get into exercise and then get a little bit crazy and start like trying to exercise every single day and in her guide she talks about you need to have rest days and you need to give your body a break and I, she definitely kind of incorporates that into the program and um, because of the um, cardio or low intensity steady state workouts that she puts in are pretty like non-stressful compared to the um, the resistance workouts that she gives. So it's kind of like when you're doing the Kayla It's in, it's in as program, then you are kind of like really going hard on the resistance days and then kind of taking it a lot more easy on the... Um, on the card cardio days and um, until week four week sorry weeks nine to twelve you're meant to also do um, 10 to 15 minutes of um, hit which is high intensity interval training where you like her suggestion is to run um, on a treadmill um, for like I think 30 seconds or a minute or something as fast as you can and then you kind of like jump off the treadmill and put your feet on either side of the treadmill and have a break for um, 10 seconds or I think and then you start running again and you, you keep doing, doing that um, for yeah 10 to 15 minutes and I did try that once but something inside my knee started hurting so I haven't done that since um, I know that a lot of people say that when they start to incorporate HIIT training in their um, routine then they get they notice that they lose a lot of weight and um, it's meant to be a really good way to um, burn fat um, even when you're not working out. So um, if that's your goal and if you don't get sore knees then um, you know then it sounds like a good thing to do. Um, but yeah there was something inside my knee that started hurting and I've had like knee issues since I was a teenager so I just kind of went I'm not I'm going to stop and I haven't really been that keen to um, try it again. But as I said, um, I'm like pretty happy with where I'm at now. I've lost, um, I've lost about three and a half kilos, I think, or three kilos. So, and, and um, I mean, when I started the Kayla Itzines, Itzines, I really, for the longest time I thought it was Itzines and then I saw there was a kind of meme thing going around saying that it was, it's pronounced it's seen as or something. So it's just really thrown me. Um, yeah, anyway, when I started it, I wanted to like lose, I basically, I wanted my stomach to be flat again <laughs> because like I'm kind of pear shaped, but I've always kind of had a flat stomach pretty much and my stomach was not flat <laughs> a few months ago. That was really just disturbing um, for me. You know, it's about where you're happy and whatever, whatever. Um, and I wasn't happy, so um, I wanted to, yeah, rectify that and feel happy in my body again. So my stomach is flutter the way that I wanted to. And I also, I had a pair of, um, like, acne jeans, which are really expensive, that I had kind of gone like, okay, I'm going to spend a bit more money on a really nice pair of jeans. Like, this was about 18 months ago or something. And then I, like... As I've said in previous videos, I went through a phase of eating a lot of um, chocolate biscuits and <laughs> I 
put on weight, which is just really unexpected if you're putting away a lot of chocolate biscuits. Um, and then it took me a, quite a while to lose that weight again. But I have now, and so I'm happy about that. I wore the jeans all day yesterday, and I was comfortable. It wasn't cutting me in half. So, you know, that's what I was aiming for, and I have achieved it by doing the Kayla Itzines diet. And um, not, not I didn't really use the nutrition plan. Um, I used her workouts, and I um, used the kind of guidelines in the... I Can Make You Thin book, which I talk about in one of my other videos um, by Paul McKenna, which is all about um, eating when you're hungry and stopping when you're satisfied and enjoying every mouthful. So the um, title of the book sounds very kind of like anore pro-anorexia or something, but it's actually extremely sensible advice where you listen to your body that, um, and eat what your body kind of tells you it feels like. Um, the Kayla It Seems Nutrition Guide is meant to be um, really, um, like it looks to me like a really healthy eating plan and, you know, she doesn't cut out carbs or like say you can only eat like mung beans after like 4 p.m. or whatever. It's all really, really sensible and she, um, it's been kind of approved by dietitians and whatnot. I'm not, I'm not across all of what she said. I just saw a rant on her Facebook about people saying, anyway, um, people trying to say that she was starving people and that the, the diet wasn't healthy. It looks healthy to me and apparently no, dietitians and the Australian government have said it's a healthy eating plan. Um, but for me, having someone telling me exactly what I can eat is doesn't work. So um, I, it makes me more, think, I was more obsessed with food than I should be. What, what, like then I feel like I should be I, I prefer to kind of like eat um, when I feel hungry and stop when I'm satisfied and, and be mindful when I'm like eating then I concentrate on what I'm eating and enjoy it um, rather than kind of like shoveling it in whatever's on my plate so anyway yeah um, that's what I did and now I feel a lot more comfortable I think like the um, sort of body composition, the composition of my body, like the fat and muscles and all of that has probably changed. Like people have noticed that I have lost weight and stuff. So that's nice. Um, I'm sure lots of people want to see before and after photos and I did take them, <laughs> but I'm just like, I don't know, maybe I should have taken them in leggings or something, but I'm just not really, I, like I didn't, I took them in my undies and <laughs> I'm not really up for putting my picture of my undies on the internet. So sorry about that. But, um, you know, if you're looking for a review, <laughs> like you can see lots of, if you, if you want before and after photos, there's a lot of them on her, um, Kayla Itzina's, um, Instagram that's not going to be on this channel. Sorry about that. Um, yes, but you know, I'm really happy. I really like the program because you can, I can work out at home. It doesn't take too long. And, um... It's it's achievable. It it works my body. Like um, when I first started, it was like so freaking hard. It was really hard. But um, now I can. It's still really hard. It's still kind of as your fitness grows, it still challenges you. But um, I've definitely gotten fitter and stuff. And it's so it's still challenging. But um, I can see that I've got fitter. Um, and yeah, it's not boring. Um, and yeah, I'm really happy with it. I'm, I'm planning to continue doing it. At the moment, I'm thinking that I want to do two resistance um, workouts and two like cardio workouts a week, um, as opposed to the three um, resistance and two cardio that she recommends. Um, and I've, I haven't <laughs> I haven't done it yet. I haven't started yet. But like, I just um, made this chart. So each week, I want to be able to. Um, tick off, like, so the week commencing the 2nd of March, I want to, like, say, yep, I did one, two, like, you know, tick off, I did one resistance training, two resistance training, one cardio, two cardio, if that makes sense, and then just, I've got all of the weeks listed down like that, and then um, one or two, one and two um, cardios and, and resistance training, so, um, sorry, <laughs> 
Um, that's what I'm hoping to do. Like, as I said, um, my knees were getting sore. Um, so I want to kind of like s sort of reduce the intensity of my workouts so that I don't um, get injured because, you know, I am older and more mature and 40. So um, I probably need to take things a little bit more easily than um, someone who's in their 20s. And, you know, like a friend of mine I found out, she just busted her ACL, which is some really important tendon in your knee, and she, has to have, she had to have a reconstruction surgery, and she's not going to be able to, like it takes like six months to kind of recuperate or whatever. So I'm not really keen for anything like that to happen. Um, yes, so that's my, um, sort of thoughts on the Kayla Itzina's diet, um, bikini body guide. And, um, I think she's a really, she seems like a really kind of genuine, um, committed person and she's going on a world tour. So I guess if you live in other countries, then you might be able to, um, go to one of her, um, sort of training boot camp like outdoor training sessions if you check her website i think she's got the itinerary but i think she's in america at the moment anyway um that's my update and i hope it's helpful okay bye